has hablado muy bien de, de Neymar, eh, has elogiado otra vez a, a Messi. ¿Estás eh, eh, deseando, bueno, también has hablado de, de Luis Suárez, ¿no? Has explicado cómo He hablado mal de alguien. Spoken highly of Messi, Neymar and Suárez. And then Luis Enrique goes, what, have I spoken badly about somebody? No, 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 that's not the thing. He's saying, are you sat there rubbing your hands with glee because you've still got Luis Suárez to add to this mix? He said from the beginning, I think I said, Lo comuniqué incluso en mi presentación del privilegio que es entrenar a un grupo de jugadores. Look, I've always said that I just think it's such a privilege to be able to manage players like this. I feel what I feel very proud about is to see that ever since I left the club uh, from before at Masia, and now to see players like Munir and uh, Adama, Samper, Kimaldo. If I've forgotten any, I'm sorry, uh, but. Uh, but these are players that I was working with in, in at Masia a few years ago. To come back and see that the club has has got those players coming through and at the same time has the money to buy players like Luis Suarez, but also bringing players through from the youth system. I love that. I love those possibilities. I think I congratulate this club for its policy. The way that it's got players of such a high quality that are coming through from the youth teams that people have never heard of when they come through. Yeah, almost overnight they become household names. That happened with Messi. Remember Messi? Nobody had a night, nobody had any idea who he was when he started playing the first team. And that was the result of all the fantastic scouting work that, that the club does, adapting him to the football we have here. And also, we have to thank these players that maybe they get offers from other clubs, but no, they whatever money they're offered, they decide to stay at Barca, and I like that. Villarreal and Bilbao, those two games were close calls. They didn't really settle those games until the last few minutes. Are you a bit worried about that? For me, yeah, something that, uh, rather than general fitness, I always like to make sure that at the end of a game that we, we're still offering a team that's fully fit. Because that's when you can sometimes catch out the other team that they're a bit worn out. But also the way we play, because we run with the ball, and that means that you've got a, a better chance because uh, it's the other team that's doing the running, which means that you're going to be... You're going to be fitter, you're going to be not as tired at the end of the game. So, yes, that is part of our tactics of the way Barca has always played football. Generally a question about players and how they deal with both criticism and praise coming from the press. Look, all the players have their own secret ways of dealing with these things. Some thrive on praise, they love it. Uh, others get very affected when they're criticised. It's all the different players that deal with different, uh, different ways of dealing with different things. I try to make them forget about all of that. I don't like them to be praised too much. I don't like them to be, them to be criticised too much. I like them to just keep logical and thinking about football, ways of winning things, because we know that we're going to get things wrong. We're going to lose things, and sometimes we'll lose having done things correctly, and yet we come in for, for criticism. Uh, all I can do is try and ignore that kind of things and just try and make sure this team just gets better. Last question coming up. Getting knocked out of the Champions League last year at the quarterfinals, do you think it would be a failure if you don't get as far as the semis this year? I don't really want to have to say anything about that if you don't mind. You know, uh, you can't judge me on the titles that we win or don't. Be. Who knows, sometimes things just don't go your way because it, that's just how football is. Um, and then what I want you to say at the end of the season is the team did its best, worked hard, and we got the best that we could have done out of this team, and that you don't come saying that we didn't try as hard as we could have done. You know, at the end, of, we reached the end of the season, and then it's really down to our fans the club to appraise and evaluate whether we got at the end of the season what we deserved.